I want to introduce uh, Mr. Ralph Avery. Mr. Avery is a retired federal lawyer who is now in solo private practice. He has an adult daughter who is very proud that, uh, to share that marched on Saturday in order to resist Trump's agenda. Well, I just have a few uh, extra comments that I would like to uh, contribute about the opposition to Senator Sessions uh, and his nomination to uh, be the Attorney General. Um, I think that uh, we have not in this country made anywhere near the kind of progress that we uh, should have made 150 years after the Civil War. Uh, I'm, I was born into an apartheid America and I saw the blood and treasure that was expended to inch forward the way we have in the last 50 or 60 years. And this is a, an issue not just for our country internally, it also reflects on our leadership in the international community. Uh, we can't be seen as going backwards on, on voting rights and the rights of all the people that uh, the Civil Rights Acts have, uh, have tried to protect. So um, I I'm applaud uh, Senator Van Hollen for coming out and uh, opposing uh, Senator Sessions for uh, Attorney General. If Senator Sessions is uh, confirmed, I think we should, uh, of course, study his record and comment on his positions vigorously as, as he goes forward. But we also have to look internally at the Department of Justice. Uh, one of the previous uh, commentators mentioned how um, important it was for the government to advocate for the Supreme Court on issues such as the IDEA Act. And that's done by the Solicitor General, uh, who is under the supervision of the Attorney General. The Solicitor General is often referred to as the Tenth Justice, because he or she implements so much important policy. And frequently, the Tenth Justice later becomes the Ninth Justice. And we have to be watchful of that, too, so that the people who work in a Sessions Department of Justice, if we have one, uh, carry their record with them, that we know what they do when they're in there. And when they come out and they are nominated for judgeships or they run for public office, we need to make them know that that history will be observed and brought forward. So uh, I, I would really urge all of you to um, not only oppose what happens, but follow what happens and, and try to uh, resist uh, at all costs any rollback uh, of, of the very nominal progress that we've made so far in uh, all the important uh, policies that uh, the Department of Justice oversees. So uh, good luck to us all. Thank you.